President Trump calls the caravan heading from Honduras a national emergency. The president claims the group heading to the U.S. is mixed with criminals and Middle Easterners, and he's alerting the Border Patrol and U.S. military. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. President Trump now says he'll begin to cut or substantially reduce millions of dollars in aid to Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador because they haven't stopped this 7,000-person migrant caravan. The president is in Houston tonight for a rally, but before he left, I asked him how cutting aid to Central American countries will keep migrants from fleeing to the U.S. If you cut aid to Central America, won't that cause more migrants? Hey, look, I can't tell you. I can only tell you this. We give them hundreds of millions of dollars. They do nothing for us. How will cutting aid keep migrants from... You know what? Maybe it will and maybe it won't, but it certainly hasn't affected. They could do a lot better job. And President Trump says a fairly big percentage of the travelers from Central America are criminals. This Honduran migrant refutes the claim. Our message is we're not criminals. We're coming over here because we want to work. We need a job. We need better, you know, a better life. Bill Canny, who runs the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops Office for Migration and Refugee Services, tells me many of the migrants are fleeing extreme poverty and violence. I don't think there's a reason for the American people to be fearful about uh, people such as this coming to our borders if they get there and asking for asylum. The migrants are still more than 1,000 miles from one of the closest U.S. border crossings in McAllen, Texas. But two weeks out from crucial midterm elections, President Trump believes their journey will pump up his base. I happen to think it's a great issue for the Republican. This is a great Republican issue. He tweets, every time you see a caravan or people illegally coming or attempting to come into our country illegally, think of and blame the Democrats for not giving us the votes to change our pathetic immigration laws. Remember the midterms. So unfair to those who come in legally. And the president says this caravan won't be crossing into the U.S. on his watch. I will seal off the border before they come into this country. And I'll bring out our military, not our reserves. I'll bring out our military. A spokesman for El Salvador's president says they hope the tension over the migrant caravan will calm down after U.S. midterm elections on November 6th. He says a drop in violence in El Salvador has already cut the flow of migrants leaving the country by 60 percent in two years. Lauren. White House correspondent Mark Irons. Thank you, Mark.